Mike Craven here with Law Tech head coach Sonny Cumbie. Coach, welcome back to Texas, Texas native. Uh, talk about a little bit growing up in West Texas with the air raid. I would imagine you were on kind of the front foot with that. What was that kind of being a part of that revolution at the be beginning? I appreciate it, Mike. It is good good to be back here at Globe Life and and uh, home of the Rangers, who are currently in first place. So that's awesome. Um, and uh, but now growing up in West Texas. Um, and, and, and seeing Mike Leach as he transitioned to Texas Tech, you know, that was really the reason why I walked on there um, is I wanted to be able to, to – I knew that I couldn't run, and I knew that he wanted his quarterbacks to throw it, and so I thought that would be a good fit. And so I walked on there, learned the offense, and really on the ground floor. And, and it's funny because when you learn it the first time there at Texas Tech and then as Coach Leach transitioned his career from Washington State to Mississippi State, um, the stories that you would read and the things that you would hear is, is really – it never um, – and this was in a beautiful way, but it never really moved past the foundation as much. You know, when in terms yeah. of the offense, and and I think that was the beauty of the simplicity and the success that he had, is he he kept things simple, and, and his players were able to execute with a high level of confidence, and that's what we all as coaches want to try to instill in our players and give them that same opportunity. Do you have a really good early on Mike Leach story from from your first year or two on, at Texas Tech? Well, I, I know we all thought that he was a little different. Um, I know sitting in there, it, me and and BJ and Cody Hodges and BJ Simmons always thought it was so funny that it was it would drive Cliff crazy when he was the starting quarterback that Leach was so simple and, and Cliff would want to know is this cover two, is this cover four, and immediately Leach would shut him off and just be like no, 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 it doesn't matter what coverage it is. Is this first guy open? Yes, throw him the ball. And so um, you know those are those are some of the funny stories. And then uh, whenever I was you know a graduate assistant for him you know I worked really hard and I had this huge presentation for the coverages for our first opponent I was really excited about it I'd work day and night you know just a huge packet I gave him and and then he flips through it and he just throws it at me and he says he's like bring this back whenever I know whether it's one safety two safeties man zone they don't run all of these coverages to these formations and so go redo this and so uh, but anyhow he, he kept the game simple and, and inspired a lot of confidence and gave a lot of people opportunities did y'all know at the beginning that th that was going to take over college football? I mean, you can watch Pop Warner football yeah. now, and they're running air raid principles. Like, did y'all know y'all were onto something really big, or, or was it just kind of the weird thing y'all were doing in West Texas at the time? You know, and, and when you're in the middle of it, I don't think you really notice it. I don't think you really understand what you're in the middle of until you have time to reflect back and, and to move further in your career and then just see really the advancements that um, – I, I, you talk about it, there's no doubt the, the – revolutionized offensive football um, but I think he also changed defensive football from the standpoint of how defenses recruit you know how they personnel how they um, change their defensive schemes in terms of trying to match plays and run coverage is different and so I think the impact goes far beyond just offense and defense how much has your philosophy changed over the last five or ten years it feels like all the air raid guys are running the ball now and using tight ends how different is the offense compared to the early 2000s yeah well coach would probably he's disappointed that we do use a tight end and that we do run the football because he would tell us all the time if it was up to him he would never call a run um, he would throw the ball every play and um, why do you want to take a, a, a big slow guy and put him on the field and take a really fast guy off the field and so um, you know there's there's different reasons for what we do the foundation of what um, that we do on offense is we want to, to get really good at what we do and be able to execute it and dress it up a bunch of different ways and and we do like to run the football a little bit more and, and different schemes than um, that we ran at, at, at Texas Tech and that Coach Leach ran and I think you know whatever you do and, and it's just the thing that you take that we take from is the belief in what you do and how you practice it how you structure it and and on the surface there may be times where um, you know Leach didn't was, Leach was very organized when it came to practice and when it came to repping his offense and and still the three things that he talked about all the time that that I find myself in football you you can know, have is be a team be the most excited to play and be the best at doing your job and he talked about that over and over again and it's so true Another coach you're familiar with, Sonny Dykes, who reached the national championship. How, how poetic was it that an air raid guy got there, you know, the year he passed away? Yeah, I think it was uh, exciting, you know, for all of us who know Coach Dykes and, and all of us that worked with, with Coach Leach. And, and I think that um, had a phenomenal team, um, you know, which is an incredible quarterback and Max Duggan and, and uh, you know defensively coach Gillespie did a great job and, and I think it was fun to watch and fun to see for Sonny and for that staff and, and for those players um, being there and knowing those players um, I think that there was a very deserving group and, and so excited for those kids to have that success. 
Going into year two at Law Tech, you know, you're around a lot of coaches, obviously been around football your whole life. How different is it being a head coach to what you think it's going to be and then what it actually is? Well, it's like uh, you can be, a, you know, it's like when you first become a husband, when you first become a father, you can read all the books and, and talk to everybody about it. But until everybody's situation is unique and then when you get to go and do it, it's been, um, first of all, it's been a blast. Um, it's been a lot of fun. Um, it was a lot of hard knocks last year, a lot of heavy lifting last year. But um, you and, uh, really enjoy the guys from a staff standpoint that we're doing it with, really enjoy enjoy our players that we have in our locker room. And so th from that standpoint, um, it's a lot of fun being around them every day. I tell our players, we get our energy from our kids as much as we provide it for them. And so that piece of it alone um, ha has been uh, enjoyable. And uh, we got a lot of work ahead of us. Um, like, you know, I think our, our, uh, our roster's in a good spot and you know, we'll see where it goes from, from today. We have some things in common. Uh, we like West Texas, we like passing the football and we like professional wrestling. When did that love kind of start for you and who was your favorite growing up? Well, you know, I, I used to watch, you know, when it just came on one night, you know, Monday Night Raw, that was like the only time it came on was Monday Night Now. Shoot, it's like on every night. I do catch myself from time to time on a Friday night before a game. I'll watch SmackDown. Um, and, and so uh, I was really big. I think we had the greatest era of wrestling because you had, you had the Attitude Era. You had Stone Cold, you had The Rock, you had Triple H, you had all those guys with DX, Shawn Michaels, um, Razor Ramon, Kevin Nash. Those guys were just phenomenal with the microphone. And, and then, uh, so I, I think from that standpoint, those, my favorite would be um, probably Razor Ramon. You know, everybody wanted to have the cool guy yeah. slick back yeah. with a little hair yeah. and the toothpick, and then he flicked the, yeah. the toothpick at the camera. So that was my favorite. That ladder match with Shawn Michaels is still like the best thing of all time. So, all right, appreciate it. Sonny Cumbie, Law Tech yeah. Football. Appreciate Thanks, your time. Mike. Appreciate it. Yeah. Thanks. Thanks, Mike. Appreciate it.